Images posted to social media showing one of nine people injured after being run down outside a North London mosque. The latest terror attack to hit the British capital. A van plowed into a group of worshippers who had just left a prayer service at a mosque. Now, a suspect was quickly arrested. He's been described as a 47 year old father from Wales. This witness saw the arrest go down. He drove a bus, he hit another three, four, five, six, seven, and suddenly the car stopped. So we run, off, we run after him, we managed to get him out of the car. After I just see pandemonium, I see um, a white van, I see people screaming, shouting, they're extremely, extremely devastated, you understand? It was just anarchy. This is the third terror attack in the UK in recent weeks, which have triggered a rise in hate crimes. Prime Minister Theresa May, among political leaders, paying their respect at the scene of the latest incident. All have pledged to increase security around mosques as the holy month of Ramadan draws to a close. The suspected driver of the van now faces charges of attempted murder. A witness says they had to protect the suspect for fear the crowd was about to turn on him. We stopped all forms of attack and abuse towards him that were coming from every angle. Um, and by coincidence, while, uh, while, uh, uh, um, while the people um, who were tending to the, to the injured were calling the emergency services, a police van drove past by coincidence, so we flagged them down. We told them the situation, that there's a man, he's restrained, he mowed down a group of people with his van, and there's a mob, uh, and there's a mob attempting to hurt him. If if you don't take him, God forbid, he might be uh, seriously hurt. Now, terrorism does live up to its name. It spreads terror, and that attack in the UK is having reverberations right here in the GTA. May Allah bring stability to the world and alleviate the suffering of those afflicted by this tragic by this uh, tragedy Muslims gather in Vaughan to pray for peace it's a very sacred uh, part of uh, the year for uh, uh, Muslims we are going through month of Ramadan which is month of uh, fasting uh, this uh, uh, prayer which is going to be uh, held uh, in the next 15 minutes uh, it's one of the prayers in which we would be reflecting upon what has happened and uh, we would be praying to God that uh, God brings uh, peace in the society. The special prayer follows the terror attack against a mosque in London with eerie similarities to a crime much closer to home. We are concerned because uh, uh, this ideology of taking law into uh, own hands and uh, to, uh, to react uh, violently uh, is something which is spreading like uh, wildfire. And it has already happened in, um, in Canada. A few weeks ago, there was an attack on a mosque in Quebec City. The terror attack at this mosque in Quebec City five months ago happened during evening prayers. A gunman killed six and wounded 19 others. Shortly after the terror attack in Paris, arson destroyed the only mosque in Peterborough. StatsCan says the number of hate crimes against Muslims is on the rise. About the perpetrators of that hate, this sociologist who specializes in hate crimes says this. Some of them feel that uh, the government isn't doing enough to address uh, the challenge of uh, terrorism and uh, they want to take uh, matters into their own hands. But I think the government has a certain responsibility uh, also for creating the sense that our personal security on a day-to-day -day basis is threatened every, everywhere by the presence of Muslims in our uh, society. You know, it's just not the case. We urge the governments to take uh, the, this seriously because it is destabilizing the society. And the earlier we act resolutely against uh, this behavior, the better it would be for peace in the society. There is a chance that it may happen here elsewhere, especially because these attacks are becoming much more common in the West. Um, so we would, we, well, we take all security measures to ensure that these types of attacks do not take place here and, and go a step further and ensure that people are educated in regards to Islam um, to prevent these types of attacks in the future. After the attack against the mosque in uh, Quebec City back in January, security was beefed up right across North America.